Yeah, I mean, tough walk off last night. Um, great test for us on the road today. You know, we talk a lot about winning on Sundays and how important uh, uh, how the series unfolds where you can look at, you know, a survival game, a series win or a sweep. And, you know, it was great to see us in a, in a situation where, you know, we had to come in and win the series. Um, really frustrating last night come back and put the ball in play and make things happen. Dustin, go ahead. David, I know you mentioned uh, before this weekend you want to see how these guys responded in situations like when they were trailing in a game. Obviously, they had to respond to some adversity flying last night's loss, but were you most impressed with just the competitiveness? I know you were probably frustrated with the lack of balls in play with two outs and two strikes and things like that. They did a much better job of that today. Well, we really addressed that last night after the ball game, where we're just we have to be much better in those situations. And fortunately, that came out in the first inning. I mean, we had a couple of situations where balls up the middle. We finally put some pressure on their middle guys, and uh, you know we were able to score from there. And then, you know, just continue to have quality at bats. We didn't get a lot of hits, but we had ten walks and five strikeouts, and I like that ratio much better. Uh, it's not going to always be that, but. We've got to just be good in the zone and also trust ourselves and see the ball better when we're not chasing out of the zone. So um, it wasn't the prettiest. We know we got plenty of work to do, but at the same time, winning on the road, two out of three is a good, good weekend. Seemed like Colby was able to adjust on the fly some and use that change up a lot more against their left-handers. I mean, he had a career high nine strikeouts, so I think at times he was probably just getting that with competing over stuff. Uh, yeah, I mean, he was – you know, I think they were prepared for the sinker and they were looking for the sinker. And uh, he also utilized his change up to the right handers um, because it's his best secondary pitch. But the slider later in the in the game, as well as the fastball away. So once they started just looking middle end for the for the sinker, especially the right handers, uh, he did a nice job of going the other way and then coming back to it as well as the change up to the left hand, which was outstanding. Uh, some guys wanting the ball middle end to drive, and, you know, he was really effective with that. You know, for him to go out and extend a little bit more, that's very uh, encouraging as we move into another weekend series and move closer to conference. Joe, go ahead. Uh, Coach, over the course of the weekend, you obviously started with Ty's fantastic outing. And then yesterday, you know, basically one mistake pitch from some really good young pitchers. And then obviously today with Kobe, Colby. So with, you know, the batting maybe being hit, literally hit or miss, how important is it to have the pitching be consistent and be able to keep you all in ball games at this point in the season? Well, I've always said, I mean, pitching and defense has to be the constant. And if we can pound the strike zone, I thought Cam made a real big play with a, a potential rally. I think it was there in the seventh, maybe the eighth, where – uh, we turn the double play. I mean, the pitching and defense has to be there. We talk about that. If if we do those things, then it puts us in a position to uh, have an opportunity to win the game. And, you know, we're not going to just drive the ball in, in, in the gaps every single day. Um, but we can be constant with our pitching and defense. And, you know, strikes are a key. Strikes with stuff is even better. And I thought Kobe was great at doing both. And, um I really thought our defense is continuing to play good, solid baseball. Jeff Howell, go ahead. Hey, David, just want to ask you real quick about the running game. Uh, the issues you had there this weekend, is that just, uh, you know, execution that you guys need to clean up? Do you tip your calf to love, cap to Lovelace for the job he did behind the plate, a little bit of both? Uh, kind of what do you make of that whole deal? I thought he was outstanding. I mean, yeah. the balls that he blocked and his transfer is outstanding. On the, uh, I mean, he throws very accurately. Uh, so, you know, we, we pressed the envelope a little bit with the hit and run and didn't execute the hit and run. Once you know that they're pretty quick to the plate and they got a kid like that and in, in, in behind the plate, you know, you're going to have to try to create or especially when we're not swinging the bat that well. Um, so we've got to get better at the hit and run if we're going to execute that away. Um, and again, I mean, I thought he did a nice job of managing us as well as their pitchers. We probably pressed it a little bit uh, at times just because I felt like we needed to create some act action just because we're not swinging the bat that well. 
one of these days we're gonna just go gap to gap and I'm gonna sit back and wave my arm. So that's what I'm waiting <laughs> Dustin, go ahead. David, you didn't have to use these guys very much because you're starting pitchers, but but what did you learn about your bullpen this weekend? Did you have some guys that seemed to kind of help themselves and did you gather some more information about you know, how that group is, is shaping up. And also, too, do you have anything to update with Pete uh, following the conversation with the trainer? Pete? Pete is good. I mean, it's probably more so about his mechanics and some bad habits that he started creating. And with that is kind of put his shoulder in a, in a kind of a stress position. And I think that's what's called the deadness. It really hasn't been because of uh, any kind of structural damage. So we're pretty pumped up about that uh he was actually available today uh they've been working really hard on just getting his path comfortable again and getting the ball away from his ear where he's almost hand inside the ball and pushing the ball instead of away and and uh hand outside the wrist throwing it so that's been kind of the the main goal with pete and then you know i think i think nixon and witt are built right and they're going to be guys that we can count on Wenzel, we're finding out, too, he's probably a little better in a clean inning. Um, you know, who's going to be the guy that's in that troubled situation, who we can trust coming in the game? And it's been Tristan Stevens, and I've been pulling him out in those situations. So um, maybe we ought to just let him figure it out in the sixth inning. Last one, Joe Cook, go ahead. Coach, with, with Silas, is it – is it going to drop eventually for him? Like, it is, do you just keep telling him that, you know, all those times you're putting the ball in play, it's, it's going to work out. It'll keep, it'll work out eventually. Well, I think there's a little slight flaw in his swing and it's just because his barrel slightly, his angle is just a little too low. Uh, because when you continue to barrel that many balls, he's hitting some deep fly balls in both gaps. If we can get that a little bit more driving through the, the gaps instead of a slight lift, I think he's going to reap the benefits because, and I, again, it's a minor adjustment that something that he's going to have to address and understand why it's happening. I mean, you, it gets frustrating when you hit that many balls in the gap uh, and they can run them down. So if I'm him, I'm going to try to make that adjustment where I'm driving. And even if I miss hit one, then I'm going to hit it off the wall and maybe lift one that gets out of the park. But well, that's the thing for us. I don't want us to go in there trying to hit, a bunch of ground balls and get on top of the ball and, and swing that way. I would much rather see us be inside and on plane and just working from uh, an angle that creates the same path from an inside pitch to the outside pitch. A lot of that is timing and timing uh, of the ball away from you. Uh, your barrel has to be a little flatter. And that's something that we've got to continue to address.